और सब कैसा है आई रेडी हो कि सब बढ़िया हो मैं हूँ आपके दोस्त आकाश राठौर फार्म लाइफ फार्म पे कैसे रहते हैं लोग या यू के गांव कैसे हैं इस तरह के क्वेश्चंस आपने बहुत सारे पूछे हैं और आज के वीडियो में मैं आपको लेके आया हूँ एक फार्म पे मेरी एक फ्रेंड है मेलिसा जो फार्म पे रहती हैं सनर में जब ले ऑफ हुआ जब पेंडेमिक आया तो उन्होंने सनर से जॉब छोड़ दिया एंड नाउ शी इज़ वर्किंग एट अ फार्म तो उनका ये पूरा फार्म है जहाँ पर मैं आया हूँ और यहाँ पर गोड्स चिकन थोड़ी खेती फार्मिंग सब कुछ है तो ओवरऑल एक्सपीरियंस उनका कैसा है लाइफ का और यहाँ पे फार्म पे लाइफ कैसी है वो देखते हैं आज के वीडियो में तो चलते हैं फार्म पे मेलिसा से मिलने तो पहुँच गया हूँ मैं फार्म पे एंड इट्स होल्डन मिजोरी राइट यस सो होल्डन नाम का टाउन है दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई हैव बीन हियर एंड आई एम रियली इन्जॉइंग इट बिकॉज जो वायरिंग है एंड ऑल सो देर इज वायरिंग एंड दिस इज जस्ट लाइक इंडिया वेर वी सी की सिटी लाइफ से बहुत दूर है एंड हाउ आई नो मेल इज मेल वॉज अ फिटनेस ट्रेनर एट सर्नर जहाँ पर मैं काम करता था and uh, now after one and a half year almost yeah. i'm here so when did you start doing this like we uh, actually moved here um we lived closer into the city um probably 15 minutes from from cerner cerner okay yep and we moved out here it's about 45 minutes away so it's a little further out we moved back in june of last year okay so we've been here a little bit over a year and we're basically just trying to um get it to what we want. I mean, when you buy a place, it's what somebody else wanted. So, we're slowly they've done some really cool things like put in the solar panels and mm -hmm. um other things like that. They already had a fence and pasture, so that was ready to go. And then we've kind of added other things. We redid the coop and we're just slowly making it our own, but it's a long a long process. Yeah, so Mel is doing farming this stuff from past one and a half year almost. Yep. And yep. Uh, uh because I know that she posts things on Facebook. So I thought okay let's go to a farm see how the life of farm is what they do here and uh, I see like it's pretty much like India that we have most of the stuff so let's explore the farm let's see how their experiences are okay she's a lamanta goat mm -hmm. um she's a dairy breed so we nice. have we have all dairy breed goats okay so um and they're all pretty tame so uh -huh. they um I'll have you give us some animal crackers lately or sure. later cuz they love them they go crazy uh-huh so she's probably usually I put her up there and she eats and I milk her she already ate so she'll get a little extra food today to <laughs> make her happy but I'm going to go feed I have other girls in the pen that I don't milk and I go ahead and I feed them while they're eating too that way everybody gets food so we'll nice. feed them and you'll see how yeah. excited they get and do you live around this area like we actually our house is right here Oh nice. Yeah, so we're just right. We're kind of in the middle of everything. So we've got the chickens here. We have a um guardian dog because we don't have electric fences or anything like that. Uh -huh. So we the guardian dog is usually in a, in our yard but she can kind of alert us if anything's going on in the chicken coop or uh -huh. with the goat. She usually hears it and lets us know. Nice. So she just so. And you don't like do you also have the cattle like We don't have cattle. Okay, we okay. we haven't ventured into anything that big yet. Um we've just been doing the goats and the goat milk and we drink their goat milk. Uh we use it for in fact I put a little sample pack together for you. Um we make goat goat milk lotion. Goat milk lotion. Which is amazing. Uh-huh. And we also make the goat milk soap which is really good too. So I actually really like goat's milk and it's not the fresh milk it's it's so much different. When you go to the store and you buy milk even though it's supposed to be fresh it's good it's not expired or anything uh -huh. but it has a smell to it. Yeah. yeah. So in yeah. India the milk is always raw actually. Yeah. Do you yeah. guys refrigerate your eggs too or do you Oh uh, so most of the time yeah, we do refrigerate the eggs okay. but okay. Uh, eggs are not that popular in the my okay. region. So yeah. most of the time it's milk okay. which is the major source of protein yeah. or we do the uh, cheese yogurt all those stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, milk usually just lasts for a day. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the longest I will keep their milk raw is 3 yeah. days. Yeah. Cuz I feel like after 3 days I can start to smell it. Yes. And it doesn't mean it's bad like it's not going to kill you. Yeah. But it's not So yeah, fresh. that's what we do. In India we get the raw milk, yeah. we boil it yeah. right away. Yeah. And then we keep it for a day. Yeah. That if if and we have refrigerator it. we do it 2 days. Yeah. That's at the max. Yeah. And we just keep boiling it like in morning, evening also boiling. And when I feel like and you get spoiled when you've had milk like that and then you come here and you have milk that's <laughs> like 2 weeks old, you're like eh. And we all only get like half a liter or a liter of milk yeah. every day. Yeah. Do you Fresh. do you, do you have goats milk there or is uh, it is the cow, cow milk? Cow milk. Okay. Cow or buffalo? Okay, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. cow and buffalo that's what we do. My husband would love to get a buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> so really. what kind, how did you grow up? Were you in this kind of I was in this kind of. Were you? So yeah. That's very cool. Uh so we were, we used to live in a village of like close to an area of like 2 to 3 miles 
square. That's it. Okay. The three miles okay. square. That's the small area. Yeah. And we have a lot of villages around us. Okay. So all of my friends they grew up on farm. Yeah. And we used to go on farm like probably every other week. Yeah. Yeah. But most of the time we Did see. Did you like, come pick up stuff like? Oh, we're gonna get our milk from here and. This um, from yeah. There. Sometimes like and uh, other time most of the time they do crops. Okay. So we used to get like fresh fresh corn. Nice. Fresh wheat. Yeah. And all those stuff from them, mm -hmm. and it was amazing. And they also had like a bullock cart. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. The, the, you know bullocks. They tie the bullock and the cart. Yeah. And then you sit on it. Yeah. And then that's how they used to commute to there because in these kind of uh, tracks. Yeah. You can't drive actually. Like a car. Cart. Yeah. Yeah. A car won't go. Yeah. So they used to. Do the cart with the bullock. Nice. And it was amazing. That's it was fun. fun times. Very fun. So that'll be nice. Yeah, the chickens are supposed to be in the little fenced area, but sh they do what they want. <laughs> they, 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 they do go where they want. Uh, and I let them. Sure. It gives them more. I mean, they eat the bugs, they free range, it gives them more to eat. And so and they're not bothering anybody. So. Yeah. Um, all of that sheetrock right there will, that's for the barn that we're finishing. Um, this is actually our boiler for when we process chickens. We put them, put, it's actually a turkey fryer, uh -huh. but we heat it up, we put them in here, get them to temperature. Um, and then we have a plucker over here. This is, uh, I mean, I wish you could see it in action. Uh -huh. But, so you heat it up, and then you put your chicken in here, uh -huh. and this thing spins around like a, almost like a washing machine. Oh, okay. And it de it plucks all the feathers. Feathers, out of them, yeah. So that you don't have to go through and pick them all out. Nice. So it's, you, they're in there for maybe five seconds, and they come out. Without the feather less. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, and just tools. This is actually a movie screen. We sometimes do a movie night at the farm. Nice. And it's uh, I think it's a twenty foot screen. I don't know. It's big. Wow. It's big, and it's we've done it a couple times, and it's really fun. Nice. So, so now it's going to milking process in the afternoon. Mein. So sweet pea ka milk is out of the And Melissa is the milk in the pasteurization. We will store it and store it. I feel very good because I've seen all this time. This is a normal milking station. This is a normal milking station. This is a basic simple basic machine. We will close it and milk it straight. She's like, what's going on here? Why am I smiling? You are on camera. Smile. <laughs> she actually does smile. She has like these little dimples. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of milk. I usually do. But yeah. a lot of it's older, so it'll go into soap. It won't be. Used but do you pasteurize the milk? or? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, not in soap, I don't. Um, if it's in soap, I don't. But if it's in really anything else, I do. So if, it, if I dry it, if I um, use it in lotion or anything like that, I'll. So this milking station is a little different. So you can put milk station on the milk station. और इस हैंगर से बांध के एंड देन दे विल मिल्क इट हमारे यहाँ तो सीधे ही हम लोग निकाल लेते हैं और ये कुछ फूड देते हैं खाने का जिससे वो खाने में बिजी रहे एंड आप मिल्क निकाल वगैरह पाओ पीछे अभी एक उन्होंने प्रॉपर फार्म का जो जो बनाया है बाम शेड बना रहे हैं जिसमें सारी मशीन होंगी पर यहाँ पर बहुत सारी मशीन रखी हैं कुछ हैं जो फ्रिज फ्रीजर वगैरह है जो मिल्क को स्टोर करने में काम आएगा और चिकन वगैरह को क्लीन करने के लिए मशीन है तो काफ़ी सारी मशीन यहाँ पर रखी हुई हैं और कितना बिल्कुल इंडिया जैसा है कि सिटी लाइफ से बहुत डिफरेंट है जैसा मैंने बोला और क्योंकि फार्म वगैरह बहुत छोटा है बहुत कमर्शियल लेवल पे वो नहीं निकालते मिल्क इसीलिए वो हाथ से निकाल रहे हैं वरना जगह जगह यहाँ पे मशीन होती है और अगर किसी और के लिए आपको मिल्क निकालना है तो ग्लव्स पहन के निकालना पड़ेगा बट क्योंकि ये फैमिली के लिए तो इतना कोई इशू नहीं है यहाँ पर हाउ मच लाइक यूजली ये गोट कास्ट Yeah, if it, it doesn't come from like a distinguished line of really great milkers, then you might, you almost have to practically give them away. Like you might okay. get 50 bucks for them. Okay. Um, if they come from a really good breeding uh, dairy line, then you can usually get more for them. Uh, but they would have to be registered and all of that. So oh, none nice. of my goats are registered. So I didn't pay a whole lot for, for any of my goats. I think I probably paid the most for her. And she was maybe like 150 years. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't a lot. Um, but if you get a registered dairy goat, you could be paying like five, six hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot. So two type ki goats are registered and non-registered, as she told. रजिस्टर्ड गोट का आपको पे करना पड़ेगा 500 टू 600 डॉलर्स एक गोट के लिए यानी कि लगभग 40 से 45 हजार रुपए की एक गोट है और नॉन रजिस्टर्ड गोट अगर आप लेते हैं जो जो में भी मिल्क वगैरह कम देगी तो उसका कॉस्ट डेढ़ सौ के अराउंड है यानी कि दस हजार और अगर आप नॉन मिल्किंग गोट लेते हैं नॉन रजिस्टर्ड तो वो पाँच छः हज़ार तक पड़ जाती है 
बट अमेजिंग की रजिस्टर्ड मिल्किंग ब्रीड की गोट के लिए आपको पचास हजार तक देना पड़ेगा Wow, it's really good. Isn't it good? It's really, really good. I was shocked. Like I had only heard bad things. Like I've heard a good smoke is gross and it's got. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah, but it's, it's only amazing. bad if you process it wrong, or they say if you milk it around male goats, it can get a goaty flavor. Uh huh. But if you process it right and it's fresh. It's, it's sweet. It's tasty plus it's sweet. It's that's sweet. correct. Yeah, yeah. So and I good. was surprised the first time I drank it. I was like. I didn't know milk was sweet. Yeah. Because, like I said, I'm used to drinking the milk that the cow's milk yeah. that we have here that's so overprocessed, and it's not sweet. The yeah, animal cracker biscuits. Eh? We're gonna love it. Right now. And they love it. So, how how am I supposed to give it? Like in my they hand? They actually use their lips to take it. Uh -huh. So if you that's do crazy. this, uh huh, just kind of put your fingers oh, on the back wait. end of it. Ah, <laughs> they're so fond of it. She is obsessed with animal cracker. I can He's see. So she. Of oh my yeah. goodness! You can look see. Crazy for him. You just look at him. <laughs> <laughs> see. You can't be afraid of them when it, when you're around goats and you got animal crackers. I mean. Oh my goodness! They if are. Akash, they are if, all in. He if needs, Akash sees a dog on the street, he is like, okay. You stay ten you feet stay away from me. I am so scared of dogs. Like, it's, it's because it's goat. I'm still here. Yeah. If it's dog, I'll yeah, be like be running out. away. So, ऐसा चल रहा है अभी मैंने आपके सामने goat milk पिया. Almost like maybe 20 साल के बाद ऐसा गरम-गरम warm milk. और ये इनका घर है Melissa का. So यहीं पे रहती हैं. इस side में पीछे chicken है. आपने देखे chicken है, goats हैं, male goats हैं, bugs जिसको बोलते हैं. और काफी बड़ा इनके पास farm है पूरा. अभी पीछे लेके जाएंगे जहाँ पे green house farming भी करते हैं ये लोग. तो वो देखते हैं और भी इनसे क्वेश्चंस पूछता हूँ मैं कि लाइफ कैसी है क्योंकि शी वाज वर्किंग इन कैंसर सिटी सनर जो कॉर्पोरेशन है जहाँ पे मैं काम करता हूँ तो वहाँ से उन्होंने ट्रांजिशन किया तो वो भी मैं क्वेश्चंस उनसे पूछता हूँ पर ओवरऑल इस तरह का एक्सपीरियंस है सब कुछ यहाँ पर खुद से करना पड़ता है फार्म लाइफ बहुत डिफरेंट है चलते हैं आगे देखते हैं और कैसा क्या है यहाँ पे They are literally hatching. I think there's probably ten right around the floor right now. And then this is our brooder, and you can see they're overcrowded in here now. So all of these guys with the big combs uh -huh. are roosters. So I'll take all of them out. I don't know why we have to lay eggs up here. <laughs> um, so I'll end up with probably four girls, probably in each level, and I'll leave them in there for probably another week, and then I'll let them out with everybody else. So is the farming and these things are like profitable as a business? Um, I would say eventually it could be, but but getting set up is mm -hmm. it's a lot. You have to buy a lot of stuff. So those initial like first couple of years, you're basically just going to be buying equipment or buying uh -huh. you know housing for things and sure. storage and for all the stuff that you have to have. So mm -hmm. um, it definitely can be. So in here, here yeah, happy barn. It's basically an empty, empty shell when we got it. And then what we're gonna do is make it, we're gonna have a ramp here for the girls. Sure. And they'll come right out here and instead of hanging out in my driveway waiting, they'll be here <laughs> waiting and they can, you know, eat the brush or whatever. Uh -huh. So in India we always like hire people to do it yeah. for us. Yeah. And because the labor is cheap. But I see yeah. like when I came here, I, a team, like an architect of my team, He does the flooring. Yes. And when I heard about it, I was shocked. Yeah, you're like. I was what? like, why would you do it? You're an architect. Yeah. You're making pay like. Pay somebody else to do that. Right? Yeah, yeah. You're making like one fifty or two hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah. He can uh, afford to pay somebody else. Yeah, but he's it. like, ah, but that's what I like to do in my free time and yeah. weekends. Which and is like, funny. A lot yeah. of us like to do that. Like we can do other stuff, but we like doing. We like all doing that it. other stuff. I literally had to go through and pick up three hundred worms off. Oh. Of it. it was it was bad. Okay. So our greenhouse we built this year. Okay. What is that? That looks so different. This is a puma pepper, and if you want, you can pick one off and try it. Is they it are like, they're spicy. Uh huh. Um, like too spicy or okay spicy? I think they're they're. It's not like a ghost pepper. Like we have a ghost pepper. <laughs> you have ghost pepper too. I have ghost pepper. Oh. But this so this one is not um, it's not as spicy. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try it for sure. And you can always just take a little little nibble off the end just to see. And usually the end is not going to be as hot because you're not going to have as many seeds yeah. and stuff in it. Yeah. 
It is hot, but it's not hot. too hot. <laughs> so get eggs from us. If I ever have extra, then they can try it out too. So it's kind of fun. Right. And then these are bell peppers. Um, yeah, that's the one we get in India. Big Thai hybrid. Yeah, Thai, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, this one? Yeah, there you go, yeah. Oh, this you is... You gonna try it? I don't even want to dare that. <laughs> like, I don't even have water. <laughs> like, because I, I've seen people... Milk. <laughs> I've seen people going all red when they oh, try yeah. it. Yeah. And this this also comes from India. Does it? Yeah. So, there is a place in India. So, ghosts actually... The, the, the entire name came from Indian okay. literature. It's okay. called Pujalokia. So, which means ghost. Okay. And uh, it is in Nagaland, where it gets its roots from. Yeah. Which is in India. But yeah, people eat for their, like dinners and all yeah yeah, yeah. but this is I, we love peppers yeah oh we i can tell spicy stuff we love, yeah and this raw peppers is doing really good ghost um, pepper my goodness yeah and it won well, it's funny because last year we grew some ghost peppers and i felt like they weren't that hot so it'll be interesting i haven't tried any of these this year okay but you uh, tried it before yes with milk yes and yeah it's really these are all like yeah. little peppers. Yeah, kind peppers, yeah. Yep. And they turn bright red. Like this one. He's, he's Love, ready. Yeah. He's, you can try him. Try that one. Is it? They're a really nice spice. Uh -huh. I mean they're they're hot, but it's it's not it's not over overbearing at all. Yeah, it's not. No, uh uh. I like those. I mm -hmm. put those in my egg. Yeah. Um oh these are orange ice cold tomatoes. So they turn really bright orange. I'm gonna go mm -hmm. ahead and pick this one off, but they'll turn all that really bright orange color, and they're they're pretty good tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So that it, do you guys like tomatoes? Oh yeah. You wanna try that one? That's a plum. Sure. My mom really likes the plum. That one could be a little riper. Well, that's really good. Yeah, my mom really likes the, the yellow plums. It is good. I really like these, but I'm not a huge like I don't like tomatoes that are real acidic. Uh huh. Um, these are called white currants. Uh huh. I and agree. are they gonna go like bigger or just like these this? stay small just like cherry this. ones yeah they're perfect for like a salad pasta salad regular salad i love it i like these those are really good yeah those are probably one of my favorites that we've grown this year yeah. and how much does this thing cost these are you can get the kit we got ours from yoder um and the, i believe it was ten, almost ten thousand dollars delivered just parts and oh, then, the and whole then thing? you have to build it yeah Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. And it's ninety-six feet long by thirty feet wide. We didn't do any of it. What I don't know is... if you know about Sam. My son Sam is sixteen. He has his own Instagram now. Uh -huh. Wow. Um, he's just started it. Well, I'm helping him with it because he's not he's not a social media kind of. He's like, I don't even know how to do that. I was like, Well, I'll, I'll help you. So with his, I think his name on there is like. Sam B. Schooly is what it is, and he wants to live in this. This is his goal: is to live in this oh, bus. So you, yeah, you can go around and look in the back. We, yeah. he's gutted it. He ripped out all the seats. Wow. He put in insulation on the flooring. He's in the process of making uh, kind of a house screwing here. down. Yeah, screwing down all the flooring, Amazing. and he's got you know big ideas for how he wants to finish it all. So our next thing is going through and having him just kind of tape out where he wants everything. And he's just 16. Yep. Wow, a 16 yep. year old doing all this I know. and he wants to live in it and do an Instagram yeah. like yep. a social media thing. Yep. What's his ID? It, it well his his name on Instagram is Sam B Schooly. You can say there so that Sam be... underscore B underscore Schooly. Okay. He only has one photo up as of right now <laughs> but we have a lot of uh, photos we've taken of him going through this process and we'll keep updating it as he goes through it. Yep, and ask him to put like short videos yes. where he's doing some work Yes. and then absolutely. in the end eventually it will be like grand yeah that's gonna be, That'd be awesome yeah. we even set up so that hatch right there you can get to the ceiling uh -huh. and we take breaks up there and we go we sit up on the ceiling we eat pizza and we drink soda <laughs> nice and we just sit you can sit up there and you can see Sunset everything, or everything yeah. Yeah. that sounds so yeah. cool yeah how much does this cost this we actually went to a depot where they basically retire all the buses okay and you, you can get a running bus i think we paid 1800 just 1800 yes Ten thousand for this, I know. and you get eighteen hundred for this. I feel like it's a steal, and it runs. Yeah, it does need new either. batteries because the batteries keep draining. But I mean, eighteen hundred dollars for a bus. And how much does it cost around um, here in Holden? In here, well, right now the the estimate on it is a little bit over three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty good. So, which really isn't bad for you know for I think 
I mean, but four bedroom house, solar panels. I mean, these were already here when we bought it. Oh, nice. It. Um, they had already had them put in. Um, I think those are worth like 20000 alone just yeah. on their own. Yeah. Um, so we did. We put the barn in. We put the greenhouse in. We put the bus in. <laughs> the bus but the house was already there, like the four bedroom. Here, wow. Yeah. yeah. So and the chicken coop was here. Yeah. We just re So two crore, my car, I could land or goats and chickens already there. Could chickens, I think there are only three chickens. Yeah, we, came, we came with three chickens. And now we yep. have like 70. Yep. Nice. Yep. So, so you want more? Oh, uh, one more. Thank I say, you so I much. have plenty. Thank you. In, Thank you. Right now, so I'd let you try this one, but he's not ripe enough yet. He wouldn't taste very good. <laughs> so good. So yeah, I loved the farming and all things. Amazing here. You can follow Sam underscore A. B. Uh, Sam underscore B. Underscore Schooly. Uh, underscore Schooly. So yep. he's building a school bus yep. to live, and he's gonna drive it in future. But yeah, you can follow him on Instagram and. Uh, Asa mera pura experience raha din. Mm -hmm. As Melissa told, she spends like four to five hours a day yep. doing all these yep. chores around the house, around yep. the farm. Make them follow yeah. us on Instagram too if they want. On well, uh, well, I think on Instagram we are. Uh, I think it's under Judah's Woodland Woodland Acres. Okay. So or Melissa Judah. You can send it's me the link I, and I'll put it in okay. the description. That'd be so, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you guys can follow Melissa or uh, the Sam yep. both on the Instagram. Yeah. Or as in ki farming life hai. Mujhe bahut achha laga hai aake. And, uh, and I, I think I'll go back now. But thank you so much, Melissa. You are welcome. It was great. It was a great meeting. It was great having you guys here. Thanks yep. so much for coming down and, and visiting us and seeing what we're all Yep, about. I'll come again sometime. That it would be so awesome. Good. We'd love to yep. have And you. I'll bring the uh, the biscuit, animal crackers. Yes. I'll bring the animal yes, crackers. Yes, bring for, some animal crackers. Yep, we have Priscilla's. Perfect. She's and definitely good. something for you. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I mean, but I will. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome.